Bong, 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 bong. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ray Dolan coming to you with the shout out show, and we're on our outdoor broadcast. We are here in Belvedere today, and uh, the weather is just magnificent. We're down at the famous wall, and our special guest is on board. But before we start all that, ladies and gentlemen, we have to do our shout out show, and our shout out show is very important because we give you the shout and you give us the shout back. So leave us a message if you want to shout. Uh, we've got messages from all over the world, and uh, as I say, just PM me as I say in the business or just leave a message and we'll give you a shout out. So let's start it off. We have Matt T-I-N-A-N Tinity and he is coming in from that boy and he's always uh, watching our show and always having a bit of crack with us and he'd like a big shout out to D who's in Scotland and all the Doherty's who are in at boy. Okay, happy anniversary. We have happy anniversary shout outs and uh, power has gone down that phone so we better figure out how we're going to fix that one. Murphy's Law. So we'll have to get head office to come in here and check that one out, maybe. Uh, but we have the power with us and we have, I uh, forgot about that one. <laughs> so, okay, we have Dorian Golden and Paddy Clark and uh, they're doing their bit for Erica from America or Erica to America. And you know what they've done? They sang the other night and I didn't know that uh, Dorian was a singer and I didn't know that Paddy was a, a guitar player. But they are after uh, doing their little bit and they're encouraging all the musicians from Mullingar and in Mullingar and further afield to get on board. And uh, as I say, do uh, to encourage all Mullingar musicians to go and get involved. So we are absolutely delighted and excited that uh, everyone is doing their bit, especially the musicians from Mullingar and Mullingar. Just tag a musician there and they will do their bit. Uh, we had them on the bus not too long ago and we had great crack, absolutely super. And uh, it's a surprise for me to see uh, Darian and Paddy doing their bit. I didn't know they were into the music at all. So fair play to you. We have uh, Billy and Barbara, G-O-U, GH, that's go, and they are 16 years married, and it's a wedding anniversary, and they're in Kalukan. And great to know that you're watching in. Now, he's originally from Waterford, but he does massive, massive work with Raharney United, AFC, and uh, we big shout out to you guys as well. Another big shout out to uh, oh, from our diaspora. Would you believe it? There's a gentleman moving home with his family and he's looking for a three bedroom uh, house to rent for one year. Now you never know if things go well, he could stay for more than that, but he's looking for to rent a house for one year in the vicinity of Mullingar, preferably in the town. There's a three bedroom uh, house or whatever it is. Uh, I don't know how many's in the family, but look, he's on his way home. He'll be here in 10 days. So if anyone can help him out, we'd appreciate it from the shout out show. We can send him the message. So if you can help us, there that'd be absolutely super okay a uh, birthday shout out to Angela Clark I uh, would like to wish uh, the best to her mother and she is in Castletown Gagan and that's all of Clark so a happy birthday to you a happy birthday to you we'll give a full happy birthday I think at the end uh, David oh David Penrose uh, it's his birthday today and this comes in from Rebecca and all his family so happy birthday to you David and Caroline Murphy and she's in Navin and she would like uh, she would like what would she like come on <laughs> I'm having a bit of a she would like uh, a big shout out to Jamie and Jamie Rennick is ha having a birthday R-E-N-N-I-C-K Rennicks and he is in Navin and a big happy birthday to him and Derek McGee uh, champion motorcycle road racer and he is something else uh, it's his birthday today so wishing you a happy happy birthday uh, Derek uh, special birthday for Kathleen Callahan and Kathleen is in Donegal in a place called Killy Garden and we wish you a happy birthday from Mullingar in Mullingar to all our friends in Donegal and not forgetting Killy Garden happy birthday to you Kathleen I believe you got a cake made Woo. We might be up. And uh, Annie Fitzmorris, whose wedding anniversary was yesterday, it's her birthday today. That was some family planning, I'll yeah. tell you. And then we have Ashleen Kiernan, the artist from Mullingar. Her birthday is today. Uh, Michael Ward is looking in there and he does fantastic work in Mullingar. And Hel Heather McDermott is 
Aeneas. So it's happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, all our friends. Happy birthday to you from Mullingar in Mullingar. And our shout out show, as I say, we're hashtag to death here. I think we're overkill, I'm not too sure. But look, we have our special guest in the house. Uh, we're after taking him from a very, very busy day. He is, his name is Kevin Byrne, and he calls his company Katuka. And this, uh, he picked the name out of this because all his children are involved in the name. I think that's the plan. Uh, so he has fantastic business ability. He is a great man, a fantastic personality. He's in Belvedere, he's in Emo, he's in Loch Bora, and he is in Port. Tumna Castle and uh, we're going to just turn all our cameras around here and uh, just to get Kevin on board here oh don't press that button and uh, some the ho oh, yes and there he is ladies and gentlemen the Katika man uh, how are you sir let me see now we just get two cameras on you uh, yes guys uh, if you're looking in there just share this with your friends because we've got some real treats going on here so, Kevin, how's it going? And what a pleasure to have you on our bus. You have a collection of all your fantastic products here. First of all, great to have you back in Belvedere. When did you start again? So, thanks, Ray, for coming over. You're welcome, everybody, to Belvedere House and Gardens. It's Kevin here at Katoka Fine Foods. We're open from the 29th of June and delighted to be back. So we had our little uh, holiday in between. So it's great to see all the regulars and the few tourists around and locals and stuff like that. Uh, Belvedere opened up around the same time as yourself then? Uh, Belvedere was open about three weeks before we were, but uh, right. technically speaking we weren't allowed to open for say the 29th of June. Okay then, so they're mad looking for the coffee when you arrive. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Buns and they're all these goodies. The breakfast and the walk and yeah. <laughs> So look, you have a lot of things here. Just um, your business model, I mean, is magnificent because you make all these products. You're at home in the house every night. There's, you're flat out making yeah, homemade so, products. Um, as you said, we have a few different shops. I call after the three kids called Tori and Quiva. That's where the name comes from. Right. Uh, the majority of stuff we make in-house. Um, we're also recognised with Fall Charlie. We have a taste of place, which is in the recognition of local source organic irish uh produce so um yeah so when did you get this is this new thing or th is this that was launched uh the program was launched about three years ago wow uh, so we have it in all our shops at the moment look it's nice for the tourists it's nice for the the, 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 the people around to know that you're supporting local businesses local produce yeah and then again using and making what you can you know so for example here we have our katoka um, apple juice now, I know we're in Westmead, but this mm -hmm. is called Leash Apple Juice because it's produced from the orchard of Nemo Court. But it's still very good. It still tastes the same, even if you're in Westmead, all right? Excellent. It's Midlands. It's Midlands yes, stuff. that's right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's organic cold-pressed apple juice. It's very good. Um, we actually have an offer on that one at the moment, Ray, would you believe it? You can get um, five bottles of that for takeaway for uh, for six euro, which is really good value, you know. And is this all on, on sale online or um, do you have to come to the shops to so get these? At the moment, uh, you have to uh, call and collect. Mm -hmm. uh, we are launching a new uh, website, which we hope to have done very shortly, which you will be able to order goods and hampers and clothes and giftware and... Really? Online and stuff like that. Wow. So that hopefully that will be the next two to three weeks. Now, a big thing that's after starting is takeaway food. The takeaway business has boomed recently, and you have a lot of takeaways. There's a lad gone out there, he's gone flat out. He's like about four, uh, four of these jobs hanging from yeah, him. So, uh, yeah, we got the, the call, and uh, that particular one I was delivering it for um, the, a, a, a priest in, in Rochford Bridge. It's his 25th. Um, uh, graduation or what's the word? I'm, I'm ordination. Ordination, yeah. So say hello to him there as well. I don't know if he, if he tunes in. So, but um, yeah, that Daniel's gone out with that. So yeah, look, we're, we've we've um, we're getting a lot of people, I suppose, with the lockdown and even since that, that are looking for something a little bit different. So we're doing our well, we did it in house um, our afternoon tea, but now we do it for takeaway. Ah. So basically, there's a, a selection of uh, you know you have, you have egg mayonnaise and watercress, you have oak smoked salmon, prawn rolls cream cheese and cucumber you know your traditional sort of victorian finger cut sandwiches we have our little uh, pastries homemade scones homemade jam uh, yeah there's loads of little goodies in there 
Tell me, how did you start off in this business? Were you, did you start in the house yourself, starting to cook, or what way, how did you get this passion? I mean, you love this business. I know you work flat out, and I know it's constant and constant on your family, but how did you get involved in it originally? Look, it was brought up on a farm, always loved what we eat the produce that was made at home on the farm, let it be the beef, the dairy, uh, did home economics in school, the big sissy, but didn't bother me. Went on and did uh, train as a chef in England. Um, after that, worked for a couple of years in the industry, came back, did hotel management, managed a few hotels. <laughs> uh, I suppose about 15 years ago, we went into the business ourselves of coffee shops and stuff like that. So here we are. Your business, is it seasonal or is it, um, you know, is there six months, nine months, two Our months? Our business is seasonal, right? So mm. we've been badly hit this year, like a lot of businesses. We usually start from maybe the middle of March, Patrick's weekend, and mm -hmm. then right through till the end of uh, September, October, if the weather's good. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is seasonal. Look, Belvedere is very good to us. Uh, West Week County Council, they host different events like uh, the would have the, the Christmas experience, the Santa's God experience, yeah, the, the, the trick or treat trails for Easter, and they would send a few meetings and stuff like that. So, yeah, support as well in the off season. But outside of that, we do um, special occasions, so we would cater for, for fa family events, communions, christenings. Um, we also have a takeaway option there as well if someone didn't want to. And tell me, have we got healthier than we were before? Than last year. <laughs> oh, we've seen a big increase, uh, Ray, on, on, on veganism. Yeah. Um, and again, not that everybody's fully vegan, but definitely vegan veg vegetarians, they're definitely going one week or maybe two weeks without eating meat. So there's a big, big trend towards healthy foods and natural, fresh and organic and, 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 and vegan, yeah. And would a lot of people, as I said, you do weddings as well, do you? We do, we care for weddings. Um, any of the weddings, I suppose, we're a little bit restricted on numbers here, but there is the option of putting up a marquee and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, probably two of the sites are more favourable to um, weddings. But we've done outside weddings as well, where we've put up uh, marquees, we've put up kitchens, and we've arrived on site and done a couple of hundred people and went off that evening and left them very happy. Amazing. The other thing is, ha is our future in uh, leisure or what? I mean, we have great Midlands. We have a lot of things that we see ourselves. We are encouraging people to come to the Midlands. A lot of people go all over the world or all over Ireland by the seaside, as I say. Now, I met uh, uh, customers coming in here before from America and uh, they, they were brought in a tour, but it was a whistle stop tour and they were exhausted after four days. Like they were just jamming everything in. Yes. So as I asked this woman, I said, oh, what do you think of Belvedere? Oh, she says, it's a fantastic place, but it's a very sad story. She says, the jealous wall and I says well yeah it probably is you know but uh, it's a fine house oh it's a beautiful house I said you walk around the, the grounds you know the six or seven kilometers over there well we don't have enough time she says I says well I says not to worry but uh, you enjoyed your uh, experience but I believe we've so much in the Midlands that we really need to uh, show in some shape or form like I am passionate about Mullingar and always promoting what's good and great about the town but we have Belvedere is just an amazing place oh, it's a fantastic place and you're very good for promoting like um, everything that is good and everything in Mullingar there's some fantastic restaurants his historic properties I suppose one of the things is people get off the, the, the plane they tend to go sort of uh, down south or over over to the west you know? yeah and um, there's a lot to do in the Midlands and I think over the last two three years there's been a big focus on Falls Ireland Tourism Ireland too for businesses to work together to, to promote what they have within the area. Mm -hmm. So it's not a little bit that you're competing with the person down the road. What you're trying to do is get someone to come and stay here for three or four days so we're to stay in the Bloom, Bloomfield here beside us. Um, and that there's a number of activities too. You have the beautiful Belvedere House and Garden, you have Tullin Alley Castle, you have Duna Sea, uh, you have the lovely lakes, the walks. You have you know, Ishnock. Ish, Hill of Ishnock. So there's low, and I probably missed a few, but there's loads yeah. and loads of stuff to do. And I think that's what we're trying to do is be able to try and pull people in, get them to stay within the area for two or three nights, as opposed to what you said, the American on the whistle top. Stop yeah, door. jamming the whole lot yeah, in and exhausted running around. Yeah, and it's, it's gone within the hour and, and stuff like that. But there is a massive drive toward, and more so now, this year, there's going to be a big drive on domestic tourism. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it already uh, we, since the restriction on, on movement has been uplifted. So a lot of people for, from around, you know, and it's very accessible here in, 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 in Mullingar, like... Uh, an hour and a half can get you from a good distance to... Yeah, the other thing, uh, what time does your uh, Kataka open at? So we open at 9.30 in the morning. Uh, right. We close at 6, but like that, if there's people here, we'll stay open. Yeah. Um, again, just to, I should mention with the afternoon tea kicking... Oh, yeah. Click and collect. 
it is important that is it's handmade it's made to order we usually sort of say you need to ring the day before if you want it for the next day it's very traditional it. like you, you could be in a, an old house as i say and yeah, uh, yes. tea time you do high tea here as well we do it in house so yeah. we give the full experience the linen the linen napkins the fine bone china Go uh, on. Up on the balcony, they also get a walk if you stay included in the price as well. So it's good value. Excellent. Yes, experience, experience. So give me some phone numbers that you can remember any or how do we get in contact so with you? So you can contact us online. It's email at uh, katokafinefood at gmail.com. That's yep. C-A-T-O-C-A. -A. Uh, it's www.katokafinefood.com. Or the mobile number is 086-300-5938. Or landline 044-933-8961. Or... Call in. Or call in. As I say, there is Belvedere, folks. It's just magnificent. We're at there is the wall. There is the wall, the fantastic wall, and it is. And there is a, a very, very uh, good feeling to Belvedere. Um, there's an energy out here that uh, we just have to come out here and just check it out because, you, as I say, you feel it when you when you get here. You go, oh my God. So it grounds you. I definitely feel Belvedere um, is sort of a. It's spiritual, I feel. Well, as <laughs> you I know. say, it's a jewel in the crown of Westmead. Yeah. It certainly is, right? Well, look, I'm just going to uh, keep this camera on here. I'll actually turn this one around. And I'm going to uh, just get back to everyone who came in and just see who is watching. Oh, my God, there's a pile of lads here. I better get all these names right. Ken Walsh, how's it going? And he says, afternoon legend. Ken, you are the legend. Uh, Kathleen Dunn uh, Maloney says, hello and good afternoon. And Kathleen is down the country. Patricia Kenna is in Athlone. Call to Belvedere, my dear. We'll call to Athlone if you call to Belvedere. Uh, um, Audrey is always in the front seat. She virtually sits in the front seat every single day. And uh, she's with us once again. So good afternoon to you. Uh, we've Karina Bell coming in from uh, Holland. And she always uses our hashtag from Mullingar in Mullingar. Great to know you're on board. And Mary Shaw Robert says, uh, uh, Howdy, she's in Tennessee, and she says, Howdy, glad to see you uh, off uh, on the tech uh, to fit for a uh, knee brace. Oh my god, I hope you're doing well, my dear. And uh, let me see, Irene Gannon says, Good afternoon, Noreen O'Neill says, Good afternoon, guys. Check out Belvedere if you're ever coming through. Uh, Sandra Raw is there, hello. Uh, Joan Brown is saying hello, and she is Ray on the bus from Taunton so she's on her bus watching us on the bus go, <laughs> it gets better every day <laughs> Bernie Collins says good afternoon beautiful day here in Clifton that's from Bernie Jenny O'Sullivan is looking in from Cork and Desi Gray is saying good afternoon and he's a chimney sweep lads if you only need the chimney just check out this man Desi Gray he's in Ballymahan he'll come anywhere I'd say in the Midlands so check him out uh, Audrey Nealis is a big shout out to all her friends in Claddy in the front seat and the great Ray Dolan you couldn't buy that advertisement <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. Uh, 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 Din, uh, hello and good afternoon to you. Uh, Magella is looking in from Moran Point. Uh, Sean Breen is looking in from Australia, down under. And hello from Ishnock. That is F R A N C E Z. Francis Chut. So good afternoon to you. So once again, guys, uh, from myself and the man uh, they call Mr. Kataka. Thanks, so, guys. Thanks, everybody. God bless folks and uh, come to Belvedere and uh, share the post because uh, there's someone out there who probably just wants to check this place out. Good luck to you all and thanks for looking in. Bye. Bye. -bye.